Good morning, everybody. It's the pollinator. Wakanda forever. Sometimes I forget to say that. They actually didn't say that. I just, people have been adding that in there. That's a little greeting in the Black Panther movie. Um, anyway, it's early the next morning, and I thought to um, make some corrections and to kind of further talk a little bit about the things that I was talking about in yesterday's botched videos that caused me to make three videos <laughs> because I ran out of storage in my phone. And I did not feel like trying to recreate everything I said because I don't talk from um, script. I don't script anything that I'm saying. So I make notes, but the notes are very sparse, sparse and they don't really go into detail the way that I do when I speak. So, um, if you like the contents of my video, click that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, you can click thumbs down. It does the same thing for people who think they're actually doing something when they click the down button. I don't care. Um, it actually does the same thing, which is propagate the videos out uh, into the YouTube world. There's a subscribe button down there, and occasionally I put cards that, if you don't have a TV set that you're watching these from, they pop up over there. So I don't know if I'm going to put the same ones. By the way, I finally um, toughed it out and used this video editor that is so complicated that I, I don't even know what it's talking about in the manual. <laughs> they don't talk about this stuff in layman's terms. It's a, com it's a complex video editor. But I finally figured out how to put all three of those ones that I made yesterday into the same video. The problem with it is that um, the playback quality seemed to have taken a hit. I don't know if that's what it's going to look like if I upload it to uh, YouTube. I don't know if it's going to kind of skip and hesitate and stop the way that it did. Um, when I played it back. So I just may leave the three out there <laughs> and, and not do anything with them. I was going to set them all to private um, private status. You can't replace videos on YouTube. Well, you, you can't replace them in place. Um, you have to upload a brand new video. You can't just take one and it ends up with the same URL as the other ones. So I was going to set them private and then set the one that's contiguous uh, three videos um, public so everybody can see them. Anyway, so this is a different video. Um, some of the things I talked first of all, I made a mistake. Um, in the video, I start, I, I said that the, um, I said that the uh, massacres happened from 1963 to 1923 when it was really 19, 1863 to uh, 1923. So I made that mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I say 1923? Yeah. And you know what? There was a whole lot of other ones. Those were just the, the eight biggest of the time but there were uh there was massacres and crap like that going on after the fact and there certainly was crap going on before 1863 so you know those are just i, I don't know how um people uh maintained that history and didn't maintain history for the other stuff but you know we've been uh terrorized uh, since we were brought to this place in the 1600s. So, so some of the things that I was talking about, um, first of all, I was talking about a, a problem with um, creating Black Wall Streets uh, and, a, and a problem on the white side of history in creating uh, Black Wall Streets. What it didn't say is that everybody and their mother right now is trying to play like they are a leader of the black people. 
when they aren't. They're just uh, capitalizing and exploiting people for their own agendas <laughs> to get money from people. And this is going on in the black community as well as uh, you know white, white people in general. Part of the systemic racism is exploitation, uh, subjug subjugation. And I'm going to um, spell those out in a minute here. D the dictionary definitions of those words. <clears throat> subjugation, exploitation, slavery. And something that I looked up that I've been hearing um, a lot of, but I didn't exactly know what it meant, which was quid, quid, quid quo pro. Okay, because um, that's that's the only way that the the Black Wall Street will be successful. And you know what? People can also say that we have Black communities already. They're lacking resources. All the resources to make it successful as a community. That is part of the problem. That is part of the oppression. That is part of how they get away with this shit. It's to stick us all in particular communities, uh, discourage us from living outside of those communities. And then while you're living in those communities, you ain't got no resources. Businesses from other races come in. They don't live there. They just put up camp there. They put up businesses in our community and they exploit us for money. That goes for Asians. That goes for uh, Hispanics. Not so much Native Americans. They, they, they don't seem to be probably because of the few few people few numbers of people and all white people are exploiting the hell out of us <clears throat> um so yeah the, the communities that we have the school systems that we have the hbcus and you know what there used to be hundreds of those schools back when i was growing up in the 1960s 1970s and somehow they disappeared. You know why? They took the money away. They took the resources away. And in America, in capitalism, money talks, bullshit walks. Money is the name of the game here. Um, you don't give any money to a community. It's going to die. And then people are going to be real fucking de uh, desperate and frustrated and start killing each other. Desperate, frustrated, depressed crazy <laughs> medicated doctors are over medicating people yes they are um a lot of the stuff that people whine about these days is, is not as problematic as they're making it just so that they can get medicated self-medication turns into that um so anyway okay where was i so yeah, um, in order for these like Black Wall Street to work, quid, quid, quid quo pro is going to have to be in place because if it's not, okay, quid, quid quo pro, can't say that fast at all. It's basically a tit for tat. You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You scratch mine, then I'll scratch yours. Now that I'll scratch yours and then you scratch mine. No, you scratch mine and I'll scratch yours. Um, you know, something is given or taken in, in return for something else. Something is given or taken in return for something else. Notice the order. It's not that something else happens and then something's given to you. Which is the way our fucking politics work. They lie up their ass. All of them. All of them. About their deliverables. But there's nothing. They don't have to give anything. In order to get our vote. 
They're not giving us anything but lip service and a bunch of lies, right? They'll say anything to get elected. And then once they get elected, they just they don't do anything for us. Making us look real stupid for voting for them. I, I, myself, I had other reasons not to vote for 45 um, last year because I could, the guy was a lunatic. He's extremely dangerous. Um, he's a total white supremacist, racist, and sexist, and just a lot of things that just made him bad news. I'd done anything to get rid of him. I told people I'll vote for a shoe, then to, to vote for him. I thought he was the biggest asshole jerk we've ever had as president of the United States. So quick quo pro, one hand washes the other. And in the United States, if the exchange appears excessively one-sided, which it does for black people, not any other kind of people, is it so one-sided? So in the United States, if the exchange appears excessively one-sided, courts in some jurisdictions, what, two, <laughs> may question whether a quid pro pro Oh, quid pro quo. This is backwards. Quid pro quo. Okay, I wrote it down backwards. It is quid pro quo. No wonder I couldn't say it. Anyway, did actually, so the question whether a uh, quid pro pro did actually exist and the contract may be held void. First of all, we don't get a contract that what they're giving us in exchange for something isn't going to be one-sided like it is all the time for black people. Um, yeah, there's no contract. There's nothing binding them, you see. There's nothing binding the deliverables of these politicians. That's why it's such a sleazy game, you know. Um, they say whatever they get elected and then because they're in no kind of a contract with us they bail on whatever it was they said to get get them voted in there that's why you know the next election may be the first one ever that i won't vote since i was 18 years old i'm, I'm really beginning to just democrats republicans they all stink they're all liars they're all white supremacists. They're all oppress oppressors. They're all colonizers, <laughs> as in that movie, um, Black Wall Street. They're just, they just, they don't mean us any good, except to get them elected and continue to keep us as consumers, the only consumers in the United States that really don't have a hand up in the United States. So. We got that. And then we've got all these black people. Now, if, if imagine, yeah, imagine people um, sending monetary and financial help to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to create the Black Wall Street all over again, to beef it up and get those businesses up and running and successful. They could just leave it at that. If we don't have a contract, quit pro quo contract with them that they'll do something besides just pay attention to Tulsa. See? Because um, not everybody's going to want to fucking live in that place. Ha! Um, I, for one, don't like the Midwest anymore. I'm from the Midwest, but I know how conservative, conservative they are. I know how racist they are. I just, I don't want to live in the Midwest ever again, and I don't want to live anywhere near Texas. Can't stand Texas. Um, and it's right to the north of Texas for those people who forgot their ge geography lessons. <laughs> so, you know, it was a wild, wild west back in, uh, back in the day. And people literally took covered wagons to get there. Black people escaped the south, the deep south, and took covered wagons to get to Tulsa, Oklahoma, which had that land there. And they were given that land. Um, to build those cities. And then a bunch of rich guys, men, black men, 
funneled their money. Now, not a bunch, maybe three, four, five. Uh, really rich black people started building. And um, and then one fight, well, jealous white folks got mad and burnt the place down and killed a bunch of people and put some of them in concentration camps and, b- and p- pillaged their their homes, their businesses before they burned them. Um, yeah, after all that happened and things calmed down, certain citizens came back, went back to Tulsa um, and tried to rebuild Tulsa, uh, Black Wall Street, Greenwood, tried to rebuild there. Some of them one brick at a time was trying to build their establishments by hand or manually all over again and it just didn't succeed because guess what they're missing the resources Money. reparations okay class all together <laughs> reparations in terms of money And and I'm starting to realize that all of these clowns that are talking on the internet, these YouTubers and people that have other platforms, uh, you know, that their videos are streaming on, they're in it for themselves too. They want reparations for one thing. They want people to buy goods and products one thing and those those businesses aren't guaranteed to do anything to address the issue of generational wealth missing from the black from blacks in the United States generation generational wealth it's making those particular people wealthy ain't doing enough for the community because they're not funneling their money back into black communities because we really don't have any not worth trying to salvage you understand um, run down just, just places that are not desirable to build and, or rebuild got to be very careful who we pick to do it so there's a lot involved I made it very simplistic uh, the excitement comes from the, the possibility that we could do it again. And I, and I said in the video yesterday that I don't know what it would take. I don't know all that it would take. And I'm to the age where I can't freaking help with the physical parts of anything anyway. Um, I would have to use my talents and dole them out for free to those areas of the country. That, you know, Black Wall Street might pop up. And they might pop up right here in Atlanta. But you know what I found out about Atlanta people? Atlanta black people. They're not very um, insistent. (laughs) They're not very progressive. They're not very aggressive about getting black people taken care of in this area, in this this state. Um, Yeah, they're still stepping it and fetching it and afraid to make waves and afraid to tell the truth and afraid to, they're still coddling the man. Back in the day, the man was white people, okay? Still coddling their feelings, coddling what they think, coddling what, you know, just placating them. For what? We need to, we need to, we need to do this ourselves, folks. The problem is, is everybody has their own agenda. And those agendas aren't contributing to the welfare of us as a people in this nation. It's contributing to the welfare of a particular city, a particular business, a particular, you know, like that. And, and it's, not, it's not doing the entire, uh, it's not going to generate what it is we need to generate to... Um, to recover from what happened in the 1900s. 
<laughs> including um, the 1960s. All the people that got killed in that effort. So, I hope I don't run out of um, space again. I deleted some videos, but it doesn't really look like they were, you know, it didn't save much space. Um, so, let's, let's, before I get too long here, um, three other words. Well, four, four words. I already talked about exploitation, which is, you know, selfish utilization, um, selfish using for profit, which is businesses. They're exploiting the, us and they don't even care that they're doing that. Dog eat dog, right? Whoever gets to the resources first wins. But they're getting reparations. Other races of people are getting reparations to do that. We haven't. Asians, yeah. Hispanics, yeah. Native Americans, yes. They've all gotten reparations. Even the Japanese got reparations at World War II. Um, I mean, just, I don't know what, yeah, I know what it is. Racism. Look that word up. It doesn't mean what you think it means. The difference between being racist and being prejudiced. We cannot be racist towards y'all because we don't control you guys. Racism implies a certain amount of power and control over an entire race of people. We can't do that to y'all. So, you know, knock it off when you're calling us racist because we're calling you out racism or calling you out for being a racist. Anyway, subjugation. The act, fact, or process of bringing under control, i.e. enslavement. Now, I, I thought that was interesting definition, so I, you know, I typed in enslavement and it kept popping up slave. It wouldn't even finish the word, enslavement. <laughs> so, enslavement is a person entirely under the domination of some influence or person. Tell me we're not being dominated. The entire race of black people. Oh, they'll let us entertain them. Then talk shit about us if we don't enter entertain them correctly. Or if we kneel when they're playing the national anthem. Or if we do anything out of line, they think they're judge, jury, and executioner of everything that we do when while we're entertaining them. They're going after, they go after singers, they go after athletes, they go after anybody who is an entertainer um, in America, like they, like they own them. Then they do have owners that own them. And music, the music industry and the entertainment industry and all that stuff is owned by Jewish people. Hollywood is owned by Jewish people. Um, and they dictate to them what they can and cannot put as a movie. Uh, and it's very difficult to be an independent producer can produce movies and films and have them actually get out there to be seen and to be paid for. You have to make a profit. So, so, so slave. <laughs> That's an interesting definition, wasn't it? It doesn't mean what, you know, Everybody looks at slavery as the definition of slave. What we were, we still are. Slavery is still here. To work like a slave, i.e. drudge. So what's drudge? A person who does menial, distasteful, dull, or hard work. And, and, and that, that, these definitions jumped out to me because it was like, whoa, during this entire pandemic, who were the first response? Who were the people who had to still keep working through the entire pandemic? These kinds of jobs. The menial, distasteful, dull, or hard work had to keep going to support the infrastructure of the United States of America. To work 
like a slave, a drudge. So these words is why we're in the predicament that we're in in the United States. Why we deserve reparations, why they need to stop studying it. The studying it is just an excuse to say we're not going to do it. Keep studying it. And it's like we've got a lot of hypocrites and liars and shit in this country. Lying has become a, a, a new art. You know, just lie about everything. Lie to yourself. Lie to everybody else. Lie to us. Um, and then expect us to be loyal anyway. Yeah, we're loyal to this country, but we're not, we're becoming unloyal to people in it. Let's see, the ideals that were set forth by the founding fucking fathers, even though slavery was going on at the time and they did not have us in mind, we still deserve that because they enslaved us while they created all that enslaved us and made us work the work the land you know made us build everything cotton all that stuff if it wasn't for us it wouldn't have happened it would not have happened that way they, they wouldn't be able to get a group of their own people to do it Asians weren't here Hispanics were here but they fought like hell they didn't want to try to enslave them Nah, they went to a completely different country where we didn't know the language, we didn't know the culture, and stole us and brought us here. They kidnapped us and brought us to this country. And we no longer uh, have our culture or our language. Languages from many, they have many different languages and dialects in uh, Africa. And we don't have any of that. We've been completely cut off. From our, Af from our African um, ancestry, except for the color of our skin. We still have that because we have, you know, black people, we hold the dominant gene in the entire world. Anybody mixed with us, they're gonna end up darker and darker and darker, if not dark right away, even if they mix with us. Um, yeah. It, it, This video is going to be called reparations because that is what we need. We don't, we don't want your crumbs anymore. We need full out rep reparations. And you know what? It's going to run in the trillions of dollars. Yes, it is. But no different than the bailout of COVID, uh, pandemic bailouts. They just don't want to do it. The government doesn't want to do it. They want us under their thumb. Politicians want us under their thumb. Citizens want us under their thumb. You know, white people are getting a big ass kick out of um, the police terrorizing us. So much so that they try to cause it to happen by calling the police for frivolous shit. That isn't even misdemeanors. Just last week, uh, well, no, a few days ago, well, maybe it was last week. Uh, two lesbians in, Sac in the Sacramento area um, were at a hotel and everybody was drinking at the pool, right? There's white people out there and black people out there and, and they were all being very ex affectionate. Everybody at that pool was. But these, this group of white people, some men, some women, more women than men, decided to take off and try to... Um, subjugate the lesbian couple that were kissing by the pool. They, they picked them out. And, um, but guess what happened? First time I've ever seen this happen. First time I've ever known it happen. They kicked them white folks out of the pool. <laughs> and while on their way out, uh, some guy was in the background going, shame, shame, shame. And it was make it was it pissed the white people off. One of the ladies was put you know the finger up, and another one stopped and tried to have a, a a very angry conversation with the people in the pool that were telling them to get out. 
<clears throat> what was it that used to do that? Um, they had the Apollo, the Apollo Theater in Harlem, when they would kick people, boo people out off the stage. Anyway, um, they got ridiculed and kicked out of the pool because they picked on those two lesbians. During Pride Month, picking on them because they were black at the pool is racism and homophobia and sexism. Just, just, just people are ridiculous. They are rid as ridiculous as the government, as ridiculous as the businesses, because guess what? They own all three. But a reckoning is coming. We are going to figure out a way to stop supporting so many of these businesses. Stop supporting the politicians that are just liars. Stop supporting this system and create our own. Maybe the entire community of black people needs just a boost in confidence that we can do it. I believe we can do it. I don't think it'll happen. I don't know if it would happen in my lifetime. I may see one or two or three black Wall Streets pop up, but they'll be new. And I won't live to see them thrive. I may not. Now, I'm 63 years old, so. Not young. Not terribly old, but I'm not young anymore either. Um, but I just wanted to add some things to the other three videos and holes that I saw when I played it back was like, you know what? It, 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 white people aren't the only one we, ones we don't trust because we learned all this sleazy ass shit from you guys. And it's going to take some doing to unlearn and not do it to each other. We learned how to kill. We learned how to use guns. We learned all of that from you guys. You colonized the planet. You colonize this country. And so the habits of people, the self-centered, the greed of people, you know, it's going to their heads. So we got to be very careful. Get These people have to be in contracts too. Quid pro quo, pro quo doesn't only apply to white people. It applies to blacks too. We need a contract that you're going to do what you said you were going to do. And that you, you spread the wealth. That you're not just doing things, excuse me, to make yourself wealthy and screw the people that are supporting you, that are giving you their money for things that probably don't, um, aren't getting them anywhere. So, I don't know what day this is. Is this Sunday? I guess it's Sunday. Um, my hours are a little strange these days. Sure is. We have an appointment tomorrow. Some attorneys. Um, oh, with an attorney. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your... Have a great week. Um... And, you know, black people think. We need critical thinking here. You need to use your head, not your emotions. Even what I said was is exciting to think about, but it involves many different things and a lot of honesty and to restore trust among each other, even though it's hard, given the desperation that we feel sometimes. Um, trusting each other more than distrusting people who are not trustworthy. And I don't care what color they are. There's a lot of them out there. Don't deserve your trust. So, the pollinator is out. 